What's up guys? I am back with another video. Today I am doing something different to the Renegade. I'm doing something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. I'm finally glad somebody came up with this idea. As you guys can probably tell by the thumbnail, I'm finally tinting out my tail lights. This is probably the easiest way that can be done. This is new. Not a lot of people have done it so far. And I'm going to do it today. And uh, hoping you guys will enjoy it and uh, probably buy this product because I think it's going to be worth it. Now as you guys know, I have attempted to tint my tail lights before. I say attempted because it was really, really hard. I tried to wrap them, so that was my way of tinting. There's different ways you could do it. You could always use that nightshade spray. That takes a little bit more time, a little bit more effort, just because if you want it to look good and professional, you have to take time to sand and spray and clean and do all that good stuff. Because if you just spray, it's just gonna look really, really bad. So I wanted to wrap them. I failed at it. The only thing I was managed to wrap was the actual little X, I guess you can call it. But even that, you can't really tell too well. They actually sell, now I noticed and I found this online, they sell pre-cut of this X that you can tint this out with, which is pretty neat. I'm gonna end up taking this off. What I have in this box is a cover that goes over the tail lights. It even comes with a cover for these. Now I may do that, I may not, because as you can tell, I already did these. Um, th if you guys haven't seen the video already, I did a video a while ago, uh, Crux Motorsports, they provided me with some layover tint, pre-cut stuff throughout the Renegade, and that was one of them, and I think it looks pretty good still, so I might add the pieces to it, maybe not, maybe I'll take that off, maybe I'll keep them, who knows, but for now I'm going to do the taillights for sure, and it's super easy guys, super easy, so let me get it set up and you watch me do it. Okay guys, first things first, let's open this box and see what we got. So as you can see here, we have one of the sides that will tint the little side marker. Now like I said, I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna put these on, but if you guys do, they just peel the back side and just throw them on. You got one for each side. Now we have the main piece here. Let me take it out of the plastic and you got the other one there. Check that out guys. That is a sweet looking shiny black. It looks pretty dark, but check this out. You can actually see right through it. It's definitely gonna be dark enough to make it look good. Let me just kind of hold it against it. Oh yeah, oh that's gonna look sweet. Before we actually put this on and peel that tape, you guys already know the drill. We gotta clean this area nice and good before we can stick this on. So let me do that real quick. And in the process, I'm actually gonna remove that. I don't want it to get too dark. Even though I did add the LED reverse light, I'm still gonna take this off and then clean the area. All right guys, so one thing to note real quick before I actually put this on, make sure you do have the right one. Because they are both very similar, one actually fits directly to the other. So this one, for example, will not fit on the tail light, no matter which way I try. There is a designated left and a right, so this one for sure will fit. You can see it kind of fits right in there. So make sure you have the right one, and once you got it, simple as just peeling off this tape. All right, finally got it all off. Now remember, don't forget which way you gotta do it because you don't wanna have to keep pulling and putting on. For the most part, you can kinda tell which way it goes. So I know it goes like this. I'm gonna grab it on the edges and then kinda just push it into place. Apply some pressure all around where the adhesive is. Try not to push too hard. You still, you don't wanna damage the taillights. There you go, guys, what do you think? Dark of the night. Plain Jane Shane. I just really don't like the red. That looks so good. All right, let me put on the other one and we'll see how it looks all together. Check that out, guys. That looks sick. That looks good. Even with just the main tail light cover. That looks so good. Match with this layover tint. It looks good. Once again, guys, if you want to put that other piece on, you can. I decided not to. Let's see what it looks like when I hit the locks. Oh yeah, you could definitely see plenty. Oh yeah, plenty to see. All right guys, so I do think these are worth it. They look super dope, so dark. They look so good, look clean. I give these 10 out of 10. Price-wise, they are at $50. It's not terrible, I wish they were a little lower. 50 bucks for something that you can have tinted in like five minutes, not even. I think it's worth it. So I will link these below. 
hope you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up give it a like let me know what you think and i'm gonna end it here this was george thanks for watching